As Amy would have mentioned, I'm going to just provide a brief overview of the project. Just provide a background. So just to start, we're going to look at the project within the context. We're going to look at the reason for the selection of these markets in particular, what BDC has done previously in these markets. We're going to look at the objectives, methodology, and outputs, and we're going to speak to some of the achievements we've accomplished to date. The official name of the project, Development of Sustainable Exports, to the EU under the Economic Partnership Agreement. As was mentioned earlier, we were successful in obtaining counterpart funding from the European Union under the CART Fund to the tune of over 650,000 US dollars. This represents 47% of the total budget, the remaining budget coming from the BDC. As was mentioned earlier as well, the consultants on the project, AZ Information Jamaica Limited, they have done extensive work within that market previously. As such, they were selected for the project. It is a consortium, apart from Dr. Watson and Mrs. Watson, who were unable to make it. We have um, Dr. Govind Sipasad, our very own UWE professor, and we are very pleased to have, we call her the in-market consultant. Miss Regine Sincroy, yeah, she took good care of us while we were in market, and uh, Mr. Aaron Park. So, what is, our, what is the context for this project? We now have expanded market access into the European Union since the signing of the EPA agreement following the Lome agreement, and this was signed in 2008 but we have not been exploring the benefits under the agreement. As such, this project was developed to achieve this. The EU market is the world's largest importer when you look at the exchange rate, one of the strongest in the world. Traditionally, we have exported energy products to the market and a few processed, food, um, processed foods. But if we can expand and diversify our export base into that market, we can certainly reap the benefits, economic benefits and welfare for our economy as well as for our companies. So within the EU, the traditional market has been the UK because of familiarity, the diaspora is mainly within that market. And we want to expand into the other territories, the non-traditional markets within Europe. We speak English, so it's easier to access that market as well. And we wish to also improve our understanding of doing business with wider Europe. Our objectives, increasing the exporters on one hand, as well as the BDCs, knowledge of how to navigate these territories with respect to the regulations and generally the import requirements for these markets. How we propose to do this through, on the, in the first instance, market research, and this would be followed by contact promotion missions where you would be taken in market and, of course, follow up. Following that, we hope to share these lessons with other exporters who are not yet um, seeking to penetrate those markets. Initially, we are working with, for this project, we are working with 20 companies. Some of you are represented here today. And this project is being led by the international consultants. Why FCORs, market selection? First of all, proximity. It's like Europe within the Caribbean close proximity, and as you can see, Martinique and Guadeloupe is located within the Caribbean Sea, and uh, the French Guyana is just between Brazil and Suriname, Suriname being one of our traditional CARICOM markets. They have a combined population of almost the size of Trinidad and Tobago, theirs is 1.1 uh, million. 
The exchange rate, as I mentioned before, very, very strong. Good uh, disposable income. The minimum wage is about 10 euros a day, a month. An hour, thank you very much. When you compare that with Trinidad and Tobago, that's like 80, 80 plus dollars. Key industries, the bananas, they are exported primarily to the European Union. And the other products include sugar, rum, some construction goods, agro-processing, and there is a strong presence of services within that economy especially, for example, renewable energy and environmental management, which is a close fit to what is common within the European Union. So proximity. And we are using these markets as a testing ground, as a platform to enter into continental or mainland Europe. And the experiences, of course, would be passed on our exports, as I mentioned before, and, and it's stated here as well, is predominantly within the energy sector. Just to mention that within 2010, uh, BDC launched an initiative into these markets. We've been on the road for just over two years meeting with exporters. And coming out of those meetings, these countries were identified as untapped markets within the region so that ambition was mounted. We took about 10 companies to the market. And what was the result? One, there was a confirmed interest in doing business with Trinidad and Tobago. And we can certainly be an alternative um, supplier to Europe, and even so less expensive. A couple of the companies who are on this mission are present today. So what is the challenge? Quality standards, the environmental standards, the labor laws are much higher than what we are accustomed to within the CARICOM. Packaging and labeling, of course, it's French. And there's a knowledge lacking as to the distribution channel. How do you go about doing business with that market? What is unique as well is that although under the um, EPA, it's a duty-free arrangement, these markets have special domestic taxes, and Regine is going to treat with that later today. So methodology, and here I've just sort of provide a little detail in terms of description, a six-step process, starting with market research, so that the BDC would have undertaken, led by the consultants, a fact-finding mission to the FCORs, and this information is being disseminated today. Second step, we will take the companies in. We will mount a mission with the companies. And Demi is going to provide a little more detail in terms of timing later on. Take the companies in, host matchmaking meetings with your counterpart importers. You'd also meet with the trade uh, facilitation organizations as well as it relates to regulations within the market. Following that, there's going to be a review and reflection. We're going to look inwardly. What do we need to do? How can we improve to service this market? And we will develop action plans as to how we enter, whether it be going into one market at a time, or even there may even be an opportunity where, for example, you enter one supermarket, say, Carrefour, who would have branches in all the markets. So it will be an easy link to enter the others. Following that, there will be a follow-up mission, and this has been the challenge with most of our missions. We mount one mission, and then there's no follow-up, and no business uh, follows. So we're hoping to have a market penetration mission. So the intent is to concrete the orders with companies. And then we're going to have a mentorship program. We're going to come back, provide the feedback to Trinidad and Tobago companies in general, but we also want to engage your assistance. We're looking for 10 companies who would be willing to mentor new companies seeking to enter the market, and of course, our project review. So what do we hope to achieve at the end of the day? An improved understanding 
of the requirements for penetrating those markets, <coughs> improve capacity building, whether it be product process improvement on your behalf, improve penetration of those markets, and by extension, entering into um, continental, continental Europe, and of course, disseminating the information to others on return. What have we achieved to date? Our consultants, AZ Information, uh, facilitated three uh, training sessions. This will be the fourth. Um, the first one, an overview of the EP, and most of you would have attended that session. Second one, market information and intelligence. The third, export planning. And we also we completed the actual fact-finding mission during the month of August into September. So the reason why we're here is to share the findings with you. Thank you.